Ukraine. There are a lot of places to see in Ukraine and to be proud of. There are the Carpathians with their legends, castles, cathedrals and unique traditions. There is Kyiv, one of the oldest cities in Europe, with its historical monuments, museums, theaters, exhibition halls, art galleries and its rich cultural life. The Ukrainians are a gregarious people who will often gather in cafes or street markets to socialize. A common practice for friends is to visit each other at home to spend time chatting over tea. When crimson dawn is rising behind foggy hills, an angel whose name is Sofia is waking up together with her town. Look at my native town throughout history. It's my millennial town, full of legends, atmospheres, with its secrets in every street, house, and in every passage underground. My town has an incredible accumulation of religions churches, cathedrals and synagogues. This town has its own soul and its own long history. The legend of Sviatopolk still wanders through narrow streets. It seems to me that even stone walls whisper about attacks, struggle and victory. This town is a talent, entertainment and fairs from the time of Magdeburg law. Nikolai Gogol made this place the scene of events of his well-known work Taras Bulba. This is my town, the town of oak strength. The town is the largest treasury of wealth among all Princess Ostrovsky's possession. Spirit of military, adventure still hovers in the air, near the fortress on the high hills above the river Ikva. And from the ancient depths of ages, it is eternal and incomprehensible. The sun shines especially above it, and stars preserve it mysteriously under the cover of darkness. This is my town, the town of my heart. There isn't any better town than Dubna in the world, because this is my town, the town of Sofia Borodenko. Hello everybody, my name is Sofia Borodenko, I am 7 years old, I am from the city of Dubno, Ukraine. I have a large and friendly family. I like to dance and sing. I dream of becoming a model. I won my first victory on the way to a dream. When I was 4 years old, I also dream of peace in the world, and especially in Ukraine, where it's needed.